day everyone, this is Teacher Justin and welcome to another EdTech video tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to teach you how I use TikTok in delivering my lesson. But before we proceed to our video tutorial, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon so that you are updated whenever I upload new content. Now, on to our video! So welcome to our video tutorial and this is how I will show you kung paano ko ginagawa yung mga TikTok videos ko sa TikTok. <laughs> Ayan. So first thing that you need to do is you need to sign up sa TikTok and also install the app. Now, in making your own video or content, educational content, better if you are prepared with your materials. So first, isip kayo ng topic nyo na i-discuss for your TikTok video. Second, yan. Humanap kayo na or gumawa kayo ng script. Pwede kayong gumawa ng script. Pwede kayong isulat sa paper or sa whiteboard. Ayan. Pwede kayong isulat sa whiteboard yung inyong mga sasabihin sa inyong TikTok video. So, sometimes it's it is very useful to have a script. Second is you're going to record. Yeah, be confident, smile and so on. So, I'm going to show you how. So, record natin kung paano tayo gumawa ng TikTok videos. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm going to show you my screen. Ito yung cellphone ko. Pupunta tayo sa ating TikTok. Ayan. TikTok. Okay. Tapos, we can now click the plus button. Ayan, ito. Ayan. So, ito yung TikTok interface. Ayan. Medyo malakas yung volume. So, click natin yung plus button para meron tayo or para makagawa tayo ng or makakreate tayo ng videos. Now, sa baba, meron tayong nakikita. O, ayan. Sa baba nito, meron tayong nakikita ng play button, yung effects, kung gusto nyo mag-add ng effects, and pwede tayo mag-upload ng videos. Ayan, dito. Am I still recording? Yes. Okay, very good. So, dito din sa baba, meron tayong templates na pwede nating piliin. Okay. Ay, nawala. Okay. Next, we have the 15 seconds. Yun yung pinaka-maikling TikTok limit na pwede natin gawin. Okay. Next, we have the 60 seconds. So, best if you can maximize the 60 seconds. So, paano natin ma-maximize yun? Sisiksikin natin yung maliit na topic natin in one minute. Kung kaya, actually kaya eh. Kasi maraming TikTokers na educators ang gumagawa noon. So, I think this will be very useful if we can utilize this one minute for us to record. So, my topic today will be about divisibility rule by 4. Kasi yun yung day to day. Okay? Ngayon, dapat makapag-upload ako na divisibility rule for 4. Okay. So, I'm going to record. You're going to see me record. Okay? So, ganito lang. So, is... Yeah, bibilisan na lang natin. Okay. So, you can pause. Pwede nyo i-click yung pause. Tapos, you can click the X mark if you are not if you're not happy with your shoot so you can re reshoot everything okay okay so we're done we're, I'm watching the video Okay, so yeah. So now I'm going to teach you how I do the editing. So here we have the following. So we have the sound, the effects, the text, and the stickers. You can use them in editing your videos at TikTok. So pa ulit ulit lang siya kung napapansin nyo. Tapos we can start with our title card. Title card. Okay, so my title is Math with Teacher Justin. Tapos you can choose different, um, different, what do you call this? You can choose different fonts. So, yeah, I use this and you can style it. Okay, place it here. I am, oops, okay, not too high. 
not too low. Ayan. So, kung napapansin nyo, tumuturo ako sa taas kasi doon ko nilalabas yung aking mga definitions. Okay? Ayan. So, next is yung topic. So, topic is divisibility rule. Ayan. Kung nagpa-pop up, gusto nyo nagpa-pop up siya. Ayan. So, you can simply click or tap, tap the text na nilagay natin tapos set natin yung duration tapos lalabas tayo dito now we have the option here to move the, the text kung kailan siya lalabas at kailan siya hindi lalabas okay okay yeah. so reviewin natin oh, yeah. so dapat dun sa part na yan tapos at the end of the video dun lang siya mawawala so I will click check so if you're going to observe, ganito yung mangyayari. So, yeah. I'll just show you here. Okay. So, lumabas yung divisibility rule for 4 once na after kung sabihin yung topic. So, we will now proceed to the steps. So, after nyong mag-edit ng inyong TikTok, after nyong mag matapos, you can click next. Tapos, you can now type your post this. Click your post, and then voila! It is going to be how you make your TikTok content for delivering your lesson. So, ganyan na, ganun yung ginagawa ko. Ganun yung steps na ginagawa ko for my TikTok educational content. So, it's easy somehow to shoot for one minute na um, mag-shoot ka ng one minute video. And it is also educational, ba? Na your students are going to watch for one minute and may natutunan na sila. So, I hope that you will also use this application for making your own content and to deliver your lesson. Now, hindi lang siya pang, pang mat. May mga nakikita akong TikTokers na nagbibigay ng fun fact about different things. Mga nag-experiment, may mga nagbibigay ng English tutorial, science tutorial, ano pa, Filipino tutorial, and so on and so forth. And sana mas dumami pa and I highly encourage different educators out there to do educational content na hindi lang puro pang entertainment, pang prank, pang comedy yung ating mga TikToks. Now, I'm going to show you our finished product. Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. Today's topic will be about divisibility rule for 4. If you want to know if a number is divisible by 4, the last two digits of the given number must be a multiple of 4. Let's have an example. For example, we have 7,024. So, 7,024, meron siyang last two digit na 24. Our focus will be up on that two digit, last two digit. 
Now, 24 is divisible by 4. Therefore, we can say that 7024 is divisible by 4. Let's have another example. Let's have 19,536. Now, our main focus is the last two digits, which is 36. Is 36 a multiple of 4? If your answer is yes, then 19,536 is divisible by 4. Now, let's try this. And that is just how, uh, that's my form, layout ko, kung paano ko ginagawa yun. If you have your own way of or style na kung paano nyo ginagawa yung mga educational content nyo, please share it. Kasi ako, ang technique ko is for me to give out the topic. Second is to discuss yung steps, yung procedure. Third, examples. And last one is yung pang practice exercise. So, if you have a different style, please let me know. Ano yung style na ginagawa ninyo pag gumagawa kayo ng content sa TikTok? I hope that you learned a lot in this video tutorial. If you like this video, give it thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, clarifications, recommendations, leave a comment in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can check my channel, Teacher Justin. And that's it for today. Goodbye. God bless and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.